When I was a child, my great-grandfather used to set traps for mice in the meal room. I did not know what a trap was or how it was functioning. So, one evening, when I heard my great-grandfather saying that we are out of bread and he doesn't have anything to use as bait for mice, I put my finger on a piece of bread that I saw to show him, look, we still have a piece of bread. But the piece of, of bread that I put my finger on <laughs> was inside a mice trap. You can guess what happened. I learned firsthand what a trap was and what it was doing. <coughs> now, I could have blamed my great-grandfather for uh, setting the trap and hurting my finger, but that wouldn't have changed anything, isn't it? And also, it was never his intention <laughs> to trap my finger. <laughs> Oftentimes, people do things that have nothing to do with us, but because we are ignorant of some things and we are not fully present in the moment, we sometimes get affected. And then we tend to blame the people for setting a trap for us and to fight with them. But this attitude doesn't change what already happened, isn't it? The only thing it does is to increase the tension and to expand the presence of the not good energy and the unpleasant feeling. What we can do instead is to observe ourselves and our actions and understand why did we fall <laughs> or put our finger inside the trap and avoid avoid doing the same mistakes in the future sometimes some people might intentionally set traps for us but as i see the situation is the same. We cannot prevent other people from setting the trap. The only thing that we can do is learning from our experience so that we don't get trapped again. I wish you have a wonderful life experience. Peace and light.